I must face the music. Re I don't know how much history you kids read, but our revolution was a bloodbath. Yara endured so many casualties, and so many beautiful women were widowed, alone, yearning to feel something other than despair. I am responsible for countless victory children. I fathered them, but I was no father. Instead of doing the right thing, I ran into the arms of the next woman. For decades, hundreds of mothers wrote me. They sent pictures of my children. I denied my part. I hid in this mountain. One can hide for only so long. The guilt of being a bad papa pulls my heart into the ground. I am too ashamed to see them, and honestly, a little terrified of what they might do. That's why I have penned these letters. Just a couple to start. Can you please deliver them? I will send you... May the wind protect you on this journey to mend hearts. Is here. Clara, Lorenzo. I got someone to help me send you photographs of the photographs of my children to your telephone. We did it using the telephone. Got it. Thanks. Technology these days can do wondrous things. When I was your age, when you took a photograph, you would have to develop the negative and make a print. That would take a week. Imagine waiting a week to see a photograph today. I know. Gotta go. And your telephones. I don't know why they are called that. They are really hand computers. If one person had one of these back in 1967, they could control the world, or destroy it. Imagine that. Yup, that shit's cray cray. Look, I, I gotta go kill a jaguar. Danny, I bet 50 years from now, you will be able to kill a jaguar with your hand computers. I will never see that day. I will only have to imagine it. Ah, such is life. Good luck. Identified pilot, land your craft immediately. This is your last and only warning. 
Tinga. I think I want out of this shit. I heard it was someone from Libertad restaurant. What's happening? Meeting on the mound. Some of our friends want to quit early. Okay, listen up. This isn't worth killing for. Sure as hell isn't worth dying for. We're young. We should be out there drinking and fucking and skipping school. Woo! Our parents and grandparents already stole our future. Why should we give a shit? That's what I used to think. And then one day, Admiral Benitez walked into my classroom with a gun. She called on your name, you came to the front. One by one. Alvarez. Bermudez. Carrillo. The Admiral read their crimes, protesting, handing out pamphlets, liking a Clara Garcia post. Fernandez, Jimenez, Peña. I learned a lesson on my last day at school. You can either be on the right side of history or the wrong side of Castillo's guns. Wise words, young guerrilla. Is that morale taking new members? Depends. What? Is there an age limit? I will bleed for la morale. If you take me. Welcome to the war, viejo. <laughs> So how do we take out the Admiral? Push-ups are the first step to victory. The Grand Hotel, Danny. That's the key. I got a convoy I like to make friends with. No. We need Carlito. Push-ups never lie. There's these farmers in Sombrado Gorge. They're super fans of La Moral. Actually, they're super fans of me. They were part of my fan club when I was on the national team. They tipped us off to this special convoy that always rolls through Shao Pass. We put together a smash and grab attack plan, and I told my super fans to sit tight until they hear the word knuckleball. Nobody knows what this fancy convoy is carrying, but we know it's valuable. Benitez always slams it with crazy security. A hundred soldados. Danny, we need you to hit the convoy. I'm sure you can handle this all by yourself. But if you want some help, my people are pumped and ready to go. I'll keep tabs on the convoy and let you know when it's near the pass. Don't know about you, but I fucking love I need you to go to the Gran Hotel Caballero. It used to be a resort for wealthy turistas, but Benitez converted it into some sort of prison torture hellhole. One of our fighters, Hugo, is being held there, which means he's got an appointment with the dentist. 
the regime's best interrogator. If the dentist gets any information out of him, we're fucked. He's got a good heart, but Hugo will crack like a fucking coconut. You need to stop that interrogation, whatever it takes. I already sent a scout to the hotel. She'll help when you get there. And one of Gilberto's people can get you past the guards if you hide in the back of his delivery truck. But you better hurry. The truck is leaving soon from the delivery yards. Benitez can't find out where we are, Danny. <sighs> I like this young Darius. They remind me of, well, me. Only smaller. And it's going to take a lot more than a basement full of little me's to win this war. The time has come, baby Tigre. We need Carlito. The fifth legendary member of the 67th Revolution, and the toughest motherfucker I ever knew. Soldados would piss their pantalones when they came face to face with him. You know the expression, two birds with one stone? Well, Carlito once shot down two planes with one bullet. He is a national treasure. That was before he retired and went to work in the museum. The regime has put him in a cage to be insulted by filthy true Yaran turistas. His true destiny is on the field of battle. I'll meet you at the museum. Together we will free Carlito from his prison. Castillo has many bullets, but we will have Carlito, and Carlito only needs one. Some speech, right? Dimelo, hey. I'm driving up to the hotel. I can sneak you past the guards. Hop in. Oh, she! You're doing this mission? Hell yeah. I hate dentists. Me too. They say when you're in her chair, you either give up information or your life. Or both. And I'm going to have to find Hugo, quickly. Our scouts are already in position and ready to help.
On Ron, I'm at some huge hotel on a mountain. It looks fancy. Gran Hotel Caballero. Looks like this place isn't taking reservations. When Castillo's there, it's a full race check out time. How long are we doing this? I don't know. I don't see no vacancy. <laughs> I'm hanging up now. Danny, I'm your eyes on this one and I'm in position. The dentist is already in there with them. Pinga. I thought dentists were always late. Not this one. Dentist is dead. La morale is safe. Gracias. Yeah. She was going to That's fucking kill me for sure. Honey. Oh, and I'm working on a gift for you. Gift? The hotel. I'm taking it. They have tortured their last guerrilla here. You sure you're not La Morale, Danny? I'm just saying. Come here. <laughs>
<laughs> what do you want the people of Yara to know about the conflict? <laughs> conflict? It's business as usual. Look, in spite of all the rumors going around, there's no war. At least not here in Eastern Yara. Am I right, Admiral? This is not a war. There. The criminals of La Libertad will be stopped. Yeah. There are few, we are many. You hear that? And... Libertards? This means chica. She means business. And what about the violent gang known as La Moral? Anyone who attacks Yara's military or a business interest is not a true Yaran. My strategy... And I helped her with the strategy. I've got decades of experience. I ran a security firm. The East is safe. Am I right? Right. No prea capas, por nada. That's a cut. I gotta go. Señor Presidente. Admiral, so lovely to hear your voice. If I could ask, how is it that a group of school children in El Este are inflicting the highest number of active duty casualties of this war? Admiral? They, um, they have support from Libertad and the Legends. I've always taken a personal interest in your career. Handpicked you out of the academy. But make no mistake, there were more experienced, more qualified, and more intelligent officers in line before you. You stood out for one simple reason. Si, señor presidente. You were a woman in uniform. And now you could be the highest ranking woman ever to have her head on a pike. Gracias, señor presidente. El Tigre. I'm at the museum. So am I. If you want to see photographs of us when we were young and dumb, put your gun away and walk in like a tourista. Join our brave men and women in arms to defend our paradise. Nice out, no? <sighs> I 
Scheiß ob, Dani. esa porquería que andan tirando en los campos. Yo sé. Carry him out of here. He just needs a little love. You can fix him. <laughs> this will work. Carlito was a tank. Yeah! Whoa! What are you talking about? He's Carlito. Everyone knows Carlito. Baby Tigre, there's a cave for you during the revolution. Take a left at the road. Get to the nearby bridge. Nothing will stand in our way.
So you came. What the fuck is he doing here? I wanted him to see Carlito for himself. <laughs> Mi compay. How many years since you've been down this mountain? Too many. Carlito and I, we have a lot of good memories. Time to make some new ones. You should join us, hermano. War is over. When we are all free. <laughs> hey, come. Come on, it's gonna be good. I'm good. Come on. Over when we are all free. Since when did you start quoting Lobo? When I finally saw past my own bullshit, and all that remained was the truth. <laughs> Lobo did have a way of cutting the bush. That dog seems to know what's up. Hola, doggy. Do you know where Maricela is? Good dog. Who's a good perito? You leading me to Maricela? Maricela? Yes? We don't want any trouble, Guerrilla. Is there something wrong? <laughs> that envelope for me? Maricela. I bet he's finally admitting that he's my that father. Seems Wait, to know what's up. Lorenzo's Maricela. your father too? Oh His no. Letter is for you. Are we related? related? It is from I don't Lorenzo so Canseco. Good. I think we need a moment. Okay. Then... I'm gonna go. Not hang around here. Oh, yeah. What? You're
calling you. I see you. Hola, guerrillera. Stay strong. What? That's right. Come on. Easy now. Easy. You look important. Drop the coconuts. Knuckleball is a go. Bingo. I thought this day would never come. We need to piss off Benitez and spread out her forces. Music to my ears, guerrilla. See you at the pass. I'll bring the road spikes. Perfecto. We get to use them. <laughs> That's it. You're okay.
No one walks in Yara. Here you go, Guerrilla. Now's a bad time! I know, I know! I'll be right there! Don't shoot me! Head open. <gasps> Jackpot. Danny, it's Clara. Whatever you're doing, drop it. Una nueva operación? A chance to slay the lion in his den. Come find me in Esperanza. I'm sending you a picture of the Libertad safe house there. When you get to the Guerrillon lookout, ask about the night shift. The night shift? Okay, Clara. I'm on my way. I heard you hit that convoy. See, si. And Ron's heading your way with the cash. Good job, Danny. Any battle we get will go a long way in this fight. Admiral Benitez has increased patrols now. So watch the roads. Okay. Nice one, Danny. Admiral nice Benitez is pissed off and has her troops working double shifts all across the day. Sounds like we have her right where we want her. Meet me at El Agujero. I want to go over my attack plan.
one taking the hotel. I've been telling people. You would make a good commander. Hi. Que vuelta. Que? Hurry up. The hotel is a good get. Thanks to you, Benitez's defenses are spread out all across El Este. Now's the perfect time to attack her headquarters. The problem is, we don't know how many soldados are there. So, here's what we're going to do. You, La Moral, the Ancianos, and that tank are going to quietly get on the island. We use that rusty tank to punch holes in the fort, then keep shooting until Benitez is dead. She probably planned for a lot of attack scenarios, but I'm sure pontooning a tank to her island wasn't one of them. Rendezvous with El Tigre at the place I marked on your map. Stressed. He never sounds stressed. I am Gilberto Rosario, bachelor, performer, spy master for la revolución. You may have seen my better half on TV, Rosamel. Don't look so surprised. It's amazing what blue makeup and a pair of coconuts can do. The government thinks they're using Rosamel to influence the hearts and minds of Jarans. But Rosamel is the one choosing them. A little dance, a little wink, a lot of rum. And these military generals sing songs that could get their tongues cut out by Castillo. But Rosamel can't be everywhere at once. So I send out my chameleons. They blend in everywhere, become anyone, and they all report to me. My best, Sergio, has been working undercover at the stables. He has become very cozy with one Capitan Osvaldo Diaz, a target we've been watching for some time. He has given us the signal to rendezvous. But Dios mío, all my chameleons are in the field right now. Could you meet with Sergio Honey? I don't know what he needs, but I think he's in trouble. That backpack of yours is fabulosa. Libertad, la moral.